Warning, this video is for entertainment purposes only. This is not how I actually feel about the situation and it is very unfortunate. Enjoy the video. Let's see what's going on today in aviation news. Oh, what about the Boeing 737 MAX? Let's look at that. What? Are you guys seeing this right now? Guys. 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 Did you guys just see that? The Bowie CEO just got fired. Woo! Welcome back, everybody, to Red River Aviation. Hope you guys are all on a fantastic day today. If y'all haven't already, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, because you are not going to want to miss out on aviation news, because today, the Boeing CEO, Dennis Morgenberg, I don't even care what his name is right now, just got fired. Guys, this is exciting news. This is exciting news. Let's take a look at this article thanks to CBS News. So Boeing fires CEO as the company struggles with the 737 MAX crisis. What, we're only a year in? We're pushing two, aren't we? No, it's only been out for two, but it's almost been a whole year of these things being grounded. Uh, let's read off the article. So saying Monday will be replaced by the chairman as the nation's biggest manufacturer exporter struggles to regain the trust of regulators, customers, and the public waking up two fatal crashes of the best-selling plane, the Boeing 737 MAX. Oh, let's, let's take some more looks. Uh, he stepped down immediately. Chairman David Calhoun, 62, will become CEO on January 13, 2020. Guys, this is a fantastic day to be an AV geek because we're not going to have to put up with that crap anymore. We're not going to have people dying. We're not going to have people just falling out of the air because we're actually going to have planes that are better than this because this is horrible. The Boeing 737 MAX just, just got proved. It flew fine, and then we had two fatal accidents. That's horrible, and I honestly can't take it anymore. I can't believe he stayed as long as he did. The second crash, I think he should have been gone. Maybe I should be this Boeing CEO. You know why? Because let me just tell you guys right now. My name is Red River Aviation. I have a YouTube channel with nearly 700 subscribers. Let me tell you guys, let me tell you guys that, just look at my YouTube channel, look at how big of a genius I am. I have Pensacola, Dallas, Tulsa, uh, Storyline Airport, uh, Albuquerque, I mean, I can do anything, guys. It's seriously possible because, like, I'm a, I'm a genius. Have you seen my channel? I had 150 subscribers at this time last year, and I've literally skyrocketed in the market. I can do anything I want. I Literally, guys, anything's possible, and if it, the Boeing 737 Max shouldn't get retired, I mean, maybe I should be the chairman. I think I can do this, because <sighs> just a moment here as I retain my thoughts, because this is a crisis, guys. Like, the Max, it meant so much to me. I only got to see it land once, and I only got to see it fly over my house like twice. And let me tell you guys that there's a big future here if I was the chairman. We'd have airport updates live on the Boeing channel. We would have all kinds of stuff. I think I should just take over in general. We moved to Seattle. I have all you guys with me. People that actually know what they're doing. The actual fans will know what they're doing, unlike the actual Boeing CEO, because it's ridiculous. It's simply ridiculous that we just have random planes flying like that. Not only talk about that, but there's been also other fatalities in the past that obviously we can't prevent. But at the same time, guys, this is ridiculous. We can't be putting up with more crashes. So uh, Boeing declined to commit to his uh, servants, but filling earlier this year showed that he could be eligible for, he's worth 39 million. I'm gonna worth nothing, but I don't care. I'm just gonna sell the collection, moving out to Seattle, and I'm taking over, guys. Because the shakeup comes as Boeing has um, flamed, I don't, F-L-A-I-L, -I, I probably should know how to pronounce that, but. And it's a tent to contain one of the biggest crises in more than a hundred years, disrupting relationships between very, uh, very airlines customers that fueled Boeing's sales bloomed in recent years, and they all it all got thrown away when the Max happened. Because you know why? Because the Max is horrible. The Max is simply horrible. I can't describe how amazing it is that he got fired. Honestly, I think he should have got fired because look at the stocks. Look at the stocks. The stocks have literally fell off the roof. Let me look at Boeing stocks if you guys don't mind. Just a moment. The Boeing company. It's Look, it's literally down $5. I mean, that peaked. It peaked. Let's look at this. It peaked in January last year at 443 I think that's in million? Yeah, million. And look at that skyrocket, guys. 
That's ridiculous. It literally plummeted when the Max situation happened. And, guys, we're just going to have to be Airbus lovers now. A350, A320, all the new series. Guys, I want every airline to buy an A321 XLR because, simply, the whole situation is just ridiculous. I don't know how people do this. It's unreal how us as fans have to watch fatality after fatality after fatality because when we're just here making videos about it, think about one of us, anybody, could do this. We could have operational aircraft, we could have new uh, aircraft in general. I mean, crap, look at this 797X. Is that even going to come out? Like, I'm tired of seeing all these internet ideas where it's just pondering around. Maybe it's going to come out, maybe it's going to come out, maybe. Maybe he's not going to get it done, especially to the Boeing CEO, because he can definitely agree with me, because he just, I don't know if he got assigned to fired. I can't tell which is which. But CBS said fired, so the Boeing CEO got fired. It's a fantastic day to be an Ave Geek. You're not going to regret subscribing here, because we're going to have more content regarding these situations. It's simple, guys. News just struck that the Boeing CEO got fired. Look me dead in the eye. Look me. What we've done today is simply amazing. And I do not ever regret. If it's not Boeing, I'm not going. The Boeing 737 MAX. Should I be an Airbus lover? I'm going to be a Cessna lover. A Cessna lover, guys. Because, you know... I'm just a 1 to 400 collector, and if, if, if I could buy Cessnas, if I could buy Cessnas for the airports, I would put Cessnas in Pensacola. Just every day. Imagine a Cessna 172 flying to Dallas Fort Worth, and we wouldn't have a fatality. Think about how amazing that would be. Think about it. Think about how awesome it would be to be able to do that. And save lives. Save lives, guys. So. Here's my application to be the Boeing next CEO, so after the next guy. Um, I have a history with aviation, obviously. I have a YouTube channel with nearly 700 subscribers. And my goal is for there to be no fatality, safe flights, efficient flights, and overall just a great experience for the airlines to be able to fly passengers. And simply, it's not going to happen with the Boeing CEO that they had for the longest time. And in the MAX situation, why did the plane get passed? I'm not sure. It's simply devastating, guys. It's simply devastating to the whole world that we have to see this. And not only that, but once they got grounded when they were trying to do a ferry flight on Southwest, the plane couldn't even make it. It had to go back to the airport. Oh, how funny is that? Because the airline's horrible. Not the airline, rather. The company, the plane, is a disgrace to the whole community. This is the problem in today's world, guys. We're not going to be able to make it, okay? We're not going to be able to make it with Boeing 737 Maxes. So tell me, guys, Airbus is going to have a plane fail. So, I need all you guys to like the video right now, and I need all you guys to share the crap out of this video, okay? Everybody share the video with all your friends, everybody, because we need Cessna to know that we are taking over. So I need everybody right now to go to the comment section, find a way to get Cessna this video because they need to come get me, we need to go, and we need to go start making jet airliners at Cessna. So everybody right now get this video to Cessna, no matter how you do it. This video needs to go to Cessna. If you, I, Yeah, I don't think Ember or Bombardier can do this. All Guys, get this video to Cessna immediately, okay? Get it to Cessna, we're making jet airliners, and let me tell you right now, it's not going to be a better day to get being an Geek because we're going to be flying successfully. I'm going to bring all you guys on. If you've been here since the beginning or if you're just new, go to Cessna right now. Get them in this video, and we have to take over because this Boeing situation is ridiculous. So, yeah, guys, um, please just do it for me. Get Cessna to this video. Find a way to take over. Like the video. Like it. Because this is amazing content. And you guys are not going to regret it. Okay? Because it's unreal. It's unreal that Boeing's done this to us. And I'm not putting up with that anymore. Get this video to Cessna immediately. Okay? That's all I ask for. Get this video to Cessna. Get it to Cessna. Okay? Now I am going to check the time just to see where we're at. I'm sorry about this delay, but...
Get the video to Cessna. Get it to Cessna, okay? Boeing CEO got fired, great move. Very happy with it. Get the video to Cessna. You're not gonna regret it. Because we are taking over, guys. The Red River Aviation family. Like the video, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Whatever you guys want, let me know. But get this video shared. Views, Cessna. Get this video to Cessna. Get views. You understand? If you guys do that, we're gonna have no problems in the aviation industry, and it's all gonna be because of me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Get this video to Cessna. Get it to Cessna. Get it to Cessna. Please get this fixed. Please get it fixed. And when it's fixed, then I'll be back. And maybe I'll have a million subscribers.